Welcome students. If you're watching this video, you've already completed this material and you're double checking your answers to see uh, if you had any trouble to uh, maybe review parts that you may have had difficulty with and just to see if you got the answers right. All right, so to begin with here, we had one third plus one fourth. And uh, you were given that, uh, it was a given that 12 divides, uh, the twelfths divide into these fractions evenly. So here we found that one, two, three, four twelfths make one third. So that four twelfths there replaces this one third in the new equation. See how we have the old equation here and the new equation here. These are the same thing, just with different size pieces. So four twelfths equals one third. Three twelfths equals one fourth. One, two, three twelfths equals one fourth. And then we're just adding them up. We're adding four twelfths plus three twelfths. Four twelfths plus three twelfths equals seven twelfths. There we have it. All right, moving on over here, we had two fourths, that's this part right here, two fourths equals two sixths. That's this part up here, two sixths. <clears throat> Excuse me, two fourths plus two sixths. Now, uh, again, we're given uh, that twelfths will divide into fourths and sixths evenly. And here we see we have one, two, three, four, five, six twelfths fit into two fourths. So we answer that here. And here uh, we see that one, two, three, four twelfths divide into two sixths evenly. So now we have six twelfths plus four twelfths. Six plus four equals ten. Note that the denominator doesn't change because when I add these twelfths to these twelfths, their size, the size of the pieces, isn't changing when I put them all together. It's the number, the quantity, that changes. All right, down here we had one half plus one third. One half plus one third. And <clears throat> it's given that sixths will divide into these, both of these fractions evenly. Here we see that one, two, three sixths divide into one half evenly, that's three sixths. And here we see that one, two sixths divide into one third evenly, two sixths. Three plus two is five, five sixths. Here we have one half and one sixth, and it's given that sixths will divide into both of those fractions evenly. One, two, three sixths equals one half, that's right here, three sixths equals one half, and here, one sixth equals one sixth, that's the same. Three plus one equals four sixths. Moving on to the next slide, <clears throat> here we have one third plus two fifths. It's given that, uh, and here I have to record these numbers, so I recorded one third plus two fifths, and it's given that both of these numbers uh, can be divided into fifteenths. So I counted one, two, three, four, five fifteenths fit into one third. So I recorded that five fifteenths fit into one third. And one, two, three, four, five, six fifteenths fit into two fifths. That's five plus six equals eleven. Over here I've got one, two, three twelfths. Uh, Oh, excuse me, one, two, three, four, five, six twelfths divide into two fourths evenly. Plus one third, that's one, two, three, four twelfths that divide into one third evenly. And six plus four equals ten. Moving down here, one fourth plus one sixth. One fourth plus one sixth. It's given that twelfths divide into both of these fractions evenly. 1, 2, 3 twelfths equals 1 fourth, and 1, 2 twelfths equals 1 sixth. 3 plus 2 is 5. And last, we've got 1 half plus 1 fifth. It's given that tenths 
divide into both of these fractions evenly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tenths equals 1 half. And 1, 2 tenths equal 1 fifth. 5 plus 2 is 7.